please be careful when you okay. um, enter the highway from here. I'm going to. But I can't do that because I got, I got stuff I have to look at here. I have a voicemail. Oh. From Ed. Hey, Ed, it's Joe. How you doing? I'm doing right. Which uh, which borders are being closed down? Yeah. Would it make sense to have to have some just one go down and then we help them out? Wait a minute. I want to know what's happening. For the last, for the next five days, six days. What's so. what are you talking about? The borders closing down. What are you talking well, about? I'm not saying that they're closing down. If the potential are there. There's some of the states that actually closed closed facilities. You know, there's, there's restaurants are closed. I mean, it's 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 just a mess out there. See, I was kind of about. afraid of that, actually, honey. Yeah, I mean, they certainly. I know some states had done it. Had some some states that closed restaurants and fifty people or more. It changes every hour, you know, so yeah. it's so I mean, difficult to teach. He's just trying to be obviously responsible for his employees and for the company. And, we, and everybody right now at this at this level of activity, um, he doesn't want to take that chance. He said he would gladly pay for UPS to take it to these folks, you know, ASAP, like tomorrow. But it is a very big bet. It's a very big bet. Yeah, it's, a, it's an extension. It's a, right. You know, it's, it's, it's a fully padded. Yeah. Sleep safer with the extension with the top on it. I mean. It's, yeah. It's, no, it's, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's a beast. A, it's a beast. It's a beast. Um, you know, so the the other option would be we could send it there. Um, part of the issue is that we, we're getting DMEs calling up all the time, and they're not even going out and seeing customers now. Right. <laughs> So here we go, you know, here we are. We're, we're kind of stuck in the middle of this uncharted territory with everybody. Uh, everybody well, just, just doesn't know what's going on. They shouldn't do it if they don't feel comfortable. Um, obviously, we can postpone it again and and, and make yeah. arrangements mm -hmm. when things calm down. I mean, it's, it's certainly an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to, 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 to tell you as quickly as I possibly did. Yeah. Greg right, doesn't, doesn't want to deliver it. So I, I, you know, we definitely understand that if that's, um, you know, if that's, if, you know, I guess all we could, all we can really do is, is postpone it until, until things well, we'll have to, yeah. if, if it ever returns to normal, who knows? I know, I know, it's, it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's, I that's fine. And we'll, we'll just, um, we'll talk about it. We'll yep. have to talk about yeah. it and get back. We'll, Well, yeah. um, I think I want to go home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Yeah, because you're out there as well, and you know it's like services are shutting down. If anything, you know, past it, it's like it's just crazy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we okay. respect uh, the decision, and yeah. um, you know we're okay with it, and um, you know, we'll, we'll make. Yeah, we feel we feel bad for Cat, but it'll just happen later. Yeah. We'll make it, yeah. you know, make it work when it works. So, yeah, as soon as possible. And again, we can get the bed yeah. there via UPS. Yeah. But I don't know how, uh, yeah, that's certainly not going to help, you know, your yeah. efforts of. Well, I think we just ought to pause for now. Give, give these, we'll talk about it. Call, yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. Tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, but uh, it's just one of these crazy things that, you know, I don't remember anything like this, you know, so. No, none <laughs> of us. Happening. 
none of us do. And, you know. What did you hear about the border shutting down? I didn't, I didn't know. In, in, Greg said something about that, that he doesn't know if somebody's going to pull the trigger and close a border. You know, uh, it's it's crazy. He obviously is not... It has not happened, I don't think, but yeah. it could happen because of the scenario, you know, what's yeah. going on. The I think you should pop off your tank. We should go home. Yeah. So, okay, well, I appreciate the call. We'll we'll talk. Let's t- we'll talk okay. about it. No sense rushing anything or putting any you know UPS package together or whatever. Right. You know, just we'll 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 pause and um, you know have a have a talk, and uh, we'll we'll talk we'll talk to Cat. And we'll uh, we'll we'll be back in touch in a couple of days. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, okay. So no problem. All, all right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Ed. All right. Thank Bye. you, Ed. Bye. Yep. Bye. Well, I think I want to go home. Okay. See, I told you I was afraid that this. All right, I know, but you know what, honey? We did declare a national state of emergency. Oh, I know. I get it. Okay. I think we should so head home. So we just home. bail on our bail everything on our hotel and just go home. I think we need to, we'll honey. We'll be home tonight at ten o'clock. We lose our hotel deposit tonight. I can just call them and cancel it. Are and, you and okay have, to drive? And I have to. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine, and I'll have to cancel the next five days, like right away. I have to cancel those those reservations. It's too also. bad we can't see Ellie. Yeah. Melody. I know. I know. Too bad we can't see. Melody. I don't know. I'm like I'm scared all of a sudden. You know, he said that they tried to get some um they tried to get some groceries and the stores were out of meat. I mean that kind of stuff is a little bit concerning. I had a feeling about this. Well that was a quick trip. Oh my goodness. First trip away from ah. home in ten years. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> and we get to spend one night in the hotel. We left yesterday to go on an eight-day trip. And we were out one night. We got one night out. Last night, we stayed in a hotel, which was quite an interesting and challenging experience. To Anyway. Jesse was up all night long. Unbelievable. All Mom night. got to bed at 2 o'clock, and then we had the alarm go off at 6 this yeah. morning. But there was no sleep in between two no, and six because, no, because Jesse. And then as soon as as soon as she quieted down and settled down, then Bethany started snoring real loud. So, so. best laid plans, right? <laughs> so we've been planning this particular trip for about generally oh, for about six months, right? And specifically for about two months for this date for these dates, and so. Should we explain what we're what we were going to do? And we probably should. Yeah. Okay. So, Karen and I today we went and visited the Sleep Safe Bed Company, which is the company that manufactures Obed's thirteen thousand dollar bed. Link here. <laughs> so the reason why we went to go see them today is because we made a we great an, video. We have an exciting announcement is that in partnership with Sleep Safe Bed, <laughs> they and us have decided and did decide to give away a custom safety bed to a young 12-year-old boy, blind and autistic, and adopted from the Ukraine. And our delivery of that bed was scheduled for Thursday, so we were gonna do the big reveal and the, and the move that truck or move that van <laughs> and all that as we were getting ready to have this bed reveal. And we got a call about 30 minutes ago saying nothing's gonna happen. They decided now. not to deliver the bed after all because of the you know the emergency, national emergency that we're under right now. So even though um, we all confirmed all this before we left the house, but and even up until apparently decisions have been made just in the past ago. few hours that um, yeah. you know have made that more difficult. So, so we're headed so home. So Karen, why don't you say who the person is who's getting the video, who's getting the bed, 
And a blind autistic boy from the Ukraine. I think most of our viewers know well, some of them that do, it's some Aiden Killen. Aiden Killen. <laughs> from the Killen clan. So, um, Aiden has been on our heart for several Many years. years now. Even before YouTube. Before YouTube. You know we already did this video earlier, right? Well, we may not post that video. Okay. Because this is a new video. Because the world has changed in two hours <laughs> to now like everybody. I'm laughing, but I'm kind. I'm scared laughing. Everybody too is like watching the panicking. news, and I know. so when you watch the news, everything changes. And so, not to diminish yeah. anything of what's going on, we all need to keep safe and and keep our social distance. I had a feeling things. this might happen. But actually. when you you know the whole the whole the whole point of our trip was the eight days for us was to go down and, and do a big reveal for Aiden. Uh, he's still going to get his bed. Oh, he's yeah. just not going to get it on Thursday. And we may, may not be there to film it. Yeah. But we want to get it down there to him as soon as possible so that he, you know, can, can uh, have the bed because he needs it. Yes. So was that the fastest seven-day vacation in history? Uh, yes. Because we were only gone from the house for 30 hours before we had to return, huh? Yep. Our seven-day trip turned into a 30-hour trip. Oh, man. Bummer, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, it is a bummer, but I'm actually kind of glad to sleep in my own bed tonight. <laughs> what? You don't want to sleep with the nocturnal one over there? I love her dearly, but she was up all night last night. <laughs> I know. she. I'm looking forward to that too, Bethany. Let's hope she can keep herself occupied tonight or maybe sleep. She's been up for a good long while today, so maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Right? She Because I think maybe just because she wasn't in her own bed. Mm -hmm. It but messed her up. I think it did mess her up pretty bad. So. Yeah. Oh, my word. You girls. <laughs> What do you think, Jesse? Are you going to sleep for us tonight? Honey? Honey? We're home? Jessie? We're home. Aren't you glad about that? This thing that was open and tipped over and some stuff, I don't know, came out. I'm trying to get... What thing? That. It fell over oh, in the back geez. of the car. That's our toiletries. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to lose it or whatever. Poor dad. He's oh. having to... Hey. Put a lot of stuff in the house, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he did a lot of schlepping for a 30-hour trip. We yes. did have fun at Sleep Safe. We did, right? Yep. At least there's that. Stop. What? Are you Stop talking and get you a shaky? <laughs> you want a shaky? Shaky? Shaky. All right, let's do it. We were only going to be gone for one day. We wouldn't have to pack all this stuff. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I mean, a little, just a little for a 30-hour trip. 30 hours. Start to finish. Uh, we definitely overpacked. You think? <laughs> I think we did. Back from the vacation that wasn't in the middle of the night and sent Dad to the grocery store during a national crisis. It's hard enough during normal days, but today the phone calls and texts that are coming to me are absolutely hilarious. He, that poor man is, we call him the domestic doofus for a reason, okay? But he's doing a great job, you guys. Well? Okay, so I'm back from the grocery store. And um, I got almost everything on the list. Really? Yeah, milk except, and bread? I couldn't get milk. No milk. Well, I, got, okay. I got bread. But it's kind of interesting because some of the brands we normally buy... Uh, were available because we buy brand name things yeah things that you know other people don't buy but I ended up buying having to buy some um, you know some organic um, you know vegetables well, produce and stuff great. like that that's so that fine. Was fine yeah and um, you know and some uh, generic brand stuff but I, but it was cool and I got our uh, your your um, uh, helper UNAB 
helped me a lot. Oh, today. okay. So, oh, and this did is you just a him? reminder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, re I told him who I was and that I'm your husband and stuff, and that uh, you know you're very thankful. So this is a guy that works at Safeway that um, takes out mom's uh, groceries. I always give him $5. How much did you give him? I give him $5. Okay, good I know for that. you. I know yes. that. And I, I told him that, you really, that he really helps you. Did he let this. you go to Starbucks? So, he always lets me go to no, Starbucks. No, I didn't. He didn't say that. Um, <laughs> he would, did you give him the keys at the register? No, I didn't do that. Because we don't do personal <laughs> we're, Oh, yeah, we're in that situation right? where we can't touch so, anything, right? Exactly. So when Social I finished distancing. my grocery shopping, I let him take the carts, told him I had the big van out, out back. And then mm -hmm. I went to the I went to the washroom and washed my hands and stuff to be able to go outside after. You know that they're starting to talk about senior only shopping times in Is grocery that right? stores. Yes, yeah, well, so that'll, that'll help. help us a lot. Yeah, that will help uh, help a lot. So, uh, but anyway, I got most everything and I doubled up on a few things that you wanted just because we're going to be here. Yes, and our are. oven's broken. So um, yeah, still, I hope we can fix we'll that, that because that's pretty soon. But in times like now. this, that is not good. I mean, we yeah. could bake things and, you know, if we had our oven capacity. So we kind of yeah. have a double whammy because of that. Yep. So I don't know. we're going to hang tight. We're going to hang uh, hang good. So, um, And they still hard. haven't taken our trash. What's up with that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, this I is like know. our fifth missed pickup yeah. on our trash. So, and that has nothing to do with... You know the well, crisis in the country. At yeah, least it I didn't I, for three weeks. Now it's an excuse. Yeah, now it's an um, excuse. So oh, hopefully they'll come get it um, at some point. I, I don't know what's sending, going on with that. I, I keep sending uh, all capital uh, complaints into the intake thing uh, with uh, you know with a note that strong letter to follow, uh, but it doesn't seem to be doing any good. So uh, anyway, that's all. We're gonna unload the car now. All right. So let's go do it. Good for you. Yeah, I'm got, surprised. Got Even bananas? You got bananas? Oh, yeah, yeah. They were nice and fresh. So oh. All good. Yeah. And bread. Some bread stuff. So it's all good. Well, if you have bananas and bread, and, then, you know. You know and deli meat and peanut butter and jelly. Really? And, you know, and, but, and butter and coffee. Got coffee. <laughs> we're good. Are we hoarding coffee pods? We better no, not be. <laughs> no. We, we, only, we only buy as much as we can drink, which is all. A lot. <laughs> so. All right. All right. Bye. So how did I do? Well, I noticed that the the um, quantities are smaller, and you got more organic, and you paid a lot more money for stuff. But yeah. we do have supplies and groceries, and you got a lot of stuff where I could make a lot of soups and right. things like that because our oven's broken, so we have to do stovetop. Mm -hmm. So you did fine, but you probably paid a premium for I it. Did. But you know, we had um, we had uh, dwindled down everything because we were going to plan on going on that trip. I know. So we didn't have any fresh vegetable or any anything that you know uh, was going to be here. So uh, it just so happened that. Uh, we had to stock back up on. So it seems like you got like stuff. basically everything except milk and of course toilet paper. But I was just thinking, you know, everybody gives us a hard time for the plastic bags, which we understand. But you know what? Any port in a storm, and I suppose without any toilet paper, we could always resort to the plastic bags if we really got desperate. I, guess, I mean, I, I, I guess I that's really I gross. I can't figure the image, but. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't want hey, to you know, I'm a resourceful image. kind of girl, you know. I, exactly. And mm. and you know, you don't you don't do things like that until you're really desperate. Right. But what do you do when you're really desperate? You have to be resourceful, and you, you have to you have to think outside the box. Yep. You have to think for yourself, yep. right? And come up with stuff. Normally, normally. <laughs> I would say normally is normally any don't even, flush you know, them guys if you normally, do that don't flush them. no normally um you're pretty much of a stalker upper kind of person normally i mean right you, you i mean generally i have this have, family you, you have a big family and we generally we don't want to go to the store a lot we so don't hoard but we, we do stock hoard. up and for usually a couple we weeks. have enough paper products and that kind of stuff to last a month usually i would think right except we don't buy it when we're down to only one month left we wait you know until it's almost gone well that's what i mean we don't hoard again. right we don't we don't hoard but um i think this is a lesson to all of us you know to um to um you know maintain a good a good supply keep your pantry reasonably full and for those homesteaders out there you know um 
I'm glad you're doing what you're doing, and hopefully you'll be able to share with your family and friends. You know, um, I, I've been seeing posts from homesteaders out there that are wondering, you know, how, because they normally don't want to over, because you don't want to throw away stuff. You right. don't want to have too much. So how many chickens is too much? How many eggs are too much? But uh, in this situation, it's always good to, to know that your community has needs too, and you might be able to meet the needs of somebody who, could, who can't stock up or who can't... Uh, uh, you know, grow their yeah, own. if you have more than you need of certain items, consider sharing with yeah. others, you yeah. know, friends and family so that they don't have to go to the store. Yeah. So I saw an Instagram post this morning from, from Luis, you know, who got the, who got the, you know, custom van, the, the handicap van, you know, through SPSK, through the fundraiser. And, you know, he needs those uh, surgical masks you know, to keep his tracheotomy clean and that kind of thing. And, you know, somebody really has a need like that, um, you know, they don't, they, I think they've gotten masks from other people, but there you have someone who has a desperate need for, you know, for these medical supplies. And I, you know, you don't need a mask to wear unless you're sick. So, you know, or like he, like he is compromised. He's compromised. Well, you know, yeah, but I mean, so, you know, for, for those of you out there, you know, who have masks that you've, you know, or gloves or sanitizer, you know, more than you need, you know, look around to see if there's somebody that, that might need it more than you. So that's a, you know, good lesson. For all of us. For all of us. Think of somebody else instead of yourself, you know, for a minute. Every change.